Okay, so here we are. We're still at the end of turn four for the Bretonians. My general had charged his fast cav of the hill and and beat him, so he, he's king of the hill right there. And we move on to turn five. So his his frenzied chaos warriors had to charge my skirmishing bowmen. I flee, of course, and he just kind of has to turn a little bit. It just really just keeps him from opening himself up more to my guys, which I didn't want him to do. So pretty happy with how that worked out. You can see how we're lining up there in the center of the board. And my Grail Knights on my next turn, of course, will turn around, and it's just going to be a situation where we're facing each other. And since I had the last turn of the game, I, th I think he's not going to be able to charge me, and I will have my choice of how to charge him. So his Chaos Knights rally, his Hounds, which had run away way earlier in the game, they're finally back close enough. He brings them up and angles them so that I think he was trying to get it to where I couldn't charge with my, with my guys, but I think I probably still could have. But it doesn't matter. But what it ended up being is it gave me a way to get my knights out of the charge reach of his chaos knights. So I was actually very, very happy to see those little doggies come up to the, come up to play. So on this side of the board, you can see the ogres, of course, are gone. My knights errant are away at the top of the board, out of sight. His marauders are trying to get into the action, and my two units of archers are just shooting them. <laughs> you can see they're already uh, down half. Have strength. So this is just a, an awful picture showing I took the Pegasus Knights behind. I'm just trying to get everything out of the charge reach of those Chaos Knights. I don't want him to charge me anywhere, and I want the option to charge him if I want to. So I decide I'm going to take my Knights Errant and charge his Hell Cannon just for the fun of it. If this were a tournament, I probably wouldn't do that, because I don't think there's any way I can kill that thing. I can do enough wounds, it's so tough, but... Hey, whatever. You can see my Grail Knights were able to turn around. So now everybody's just sitting there. He's going to move towards me next turn, and I'm going to decide how I want to charge him. You can see, by the way, I took the Knights of the Realm unit and spread them out four wide. I took the my Sorceress, or my Damsel, I guess, took her out of the Grail Knights unit so she could cast a spell at them, but it was... It didn't go through anyway, but that's why she's out of that Grail Knights unit. So, <laughs> yeah, after my archers, those those peasant art, my peasants this game just were awesome. Those two units of archers whittled his marauders down. He went from 20, he's down to 2. So they are no longer really an issue in the game. My, this was really scary. My, my BSB unit was able to beat the dogs pretty easy, easily, but when I, when I, I killed them all, and then I, I overran, and when I rolled for the overrun, I rolled five inches, and I just barely got out of his charge arc. Three dice, five inches. That that uh, yeah, that's a little too close for comfort. That would have been really nasty, because he would he would have obliterated me. So with the last turn of the game, really not a whole lot he can do. He's just angling his warriors so that I don't get a flank charge on him, and. Puts his source, his little sorcerer in the in the house to try to cast spells, but he's not really effective anymore. So my last turn, my general had come up. I decided to go ahead and charge him into that unit because he can get a flank. If he was in their front arc, I wasn't going to charge him in there. And I do not bring the the Pegasus Knights in because I don't think they can do enough to make it so we can't have any attacks back. And if they attack back, he's going to do him do me a lot of harm. So. My Pegasus Knights, I decide just to let him sit there, or let my Knights Errant BSB unit just sit there, and take my General in to see what he can do. I decide here in the middle of the board, again, just keep my Pegasus Knights out of it. Pegasus Knights against Chaos Warriors don't go well for Bretonians. But I take my unit of Grail Knights and the four remaining guys from my Knights of the Realm unit, charge into the front of that one warrior unit, because I think, I mean, geez, I'm going to have eight strength six attacks by the Grail Knights and another five strength five attacks. I mean, I I really should do plenty of wounds and should have an outnumber on them. So hopefully I can break them. So now we get to the end of the game. After this combat, I killed one of his guys. He I won combat. He passed his leadership test. So um, after 
losing combat three times, his uh, his Chaos Knights are still alive and just under half strength. Charge my Knights here into the Hell Cannon, and predictably nothing really happened. Nothing at all. And here I was able to get, do enough wounds that he didn't... I don't think he could attack back, and if he did, he didn't do anything to me. And was able to run down that Chaos... Uh, Chaos Warrior unit. I, I don't. We didn't even bother moving my guys. This is the, this is really the last, uh, the last turn of the game. So we just stopped it right there. So when all said and done, it ended up being at least a solid victory, if not a massacre for the Bretonians. I mean, I have everything on the board, except my trebuchet, and my fast cav, which are gone. My two big blocks of knights are down to half strength, but everything else is out there in full. My damsel has a wound, so she's at half strength, but, you know, whatever. He's got everything gone except the Hell Cannon, his Nurgle unit, his uh, Chaos Knights at half strength. So, yeah, between banners and all that, I'm pretty sure it's at least a solid win, if not a massacre. So, pretty happy with how that turned out, especially with the ugly beginning with his Demon Prince getting the, knocking out half of a, one of my big knight units in turn one and half of the other big unit in turn three. That was kind of scaring me. So I'll let my opponent uh, post his comments on this because he and I have talked a little about it. He, he feels that he made a lot of mistakes during the game and um, you know he can talk about that. The biggest thing that helped me was getting his demon prince out of the game but that could have gone the other way when he planted that terror bomb there. If my guys had started running away or if he was able to keep his his stubborn uh, break test going, uh, that really, really could have gone in his favor. So, um, you know, there were some critical points where I got some good rolls in, and, and otherwise it was just, uh, yeah, a good win for the Bretonians. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it.